Well, welcome back to the channel. We have a lot to fill you in on. A lot has happened since Lexi has been to the ER. But right now, I'm on my way to pick her up to, from school early. It's before lunch because today is Eclipse Day and they let the kids out of school early. Well, it is a new day. We had every intention of finishing filming this video yesterday and then time got away from us. We were doing the eclipse um, over her friend's house and then I did get a little bit of footage of that. Then after that, we had our after school program that started at 3.30 and then after that, Lexi had dance. So it just was a very busy afternoon and I'm still not quite 100%. I'm still not got all my energy back. I'm still not back to eating like normal. Lexi's back to normal though, thankfully. It was fun to watch the eclipse. Had I gone back home to my hometown of Olney, Illinois, uh, they actually had totality, but with the traffic and everything else, we would have wanted to go home over the weekend. It's about three hours from here. And to, if we were gonna see my parents and she had school Monday anyway, so we were like, it is not worth it because I was still sick over the weekend. But I did get a little bit of footage of what we did do for the eclipse, so I'll insert that here. Why did you get off early, Jenna? I didn't have to work today. Oh, I thought you had to work. Having fun, Lexi? Uh-huh. We're about, what, four minutes away from what we're going to be for totality for the St. Louis area, huh? Yep. You try to get a good photo. <laughs> Kinda. Sorta. A little sliver. Mm -hmm. So like I said, that was a fun time. Um, didn't experience totality, but it was still pretty cool and um, pretty fun to experience that with Lexi. Brian was at work, so we FaceTimed him right when totality happened. But he did get to go outside with his glasses at work and take a peek, so. All in all, it was a really fun day yesterday, but this video was supposed to be Lexi's birthday party video. Unfortunately, that title was not clickbait. We did cancel Lexi's birthday party. We hated to do it. We hated to do it. She, let's see if I can get this timeline right. So the day that Lexi got sick, that was started late Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then by that time, she'd already been vomiting for quite a while. And then she started with a loose bowel Sunday, all day Sunday. And she didn't even like stop with all that stuff until Sunday night. And then Monday we were trying to get food and fluids into her, but she was just extremely, extremely lethargic. And so Tuesday we called the doctor, you know, they were off school Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday we called the pediatrician and we're like, okay, we know what to look out for for dehydration. We're just a little concerned. She doesn't want to drink the Pedialyte as of right now. Well, if you can't get her to drink the Pedialyte, take her for fluids. So that was last time's video. I'll see if I can link it in the cards up here. Um, so we did take her to the ER for fluids that Tuesday. Well, Wednesday was the day that they were calling, the venue would call to confirm everything, finalize the head count, all the details. We'd already paid the something like the $250 deposit or whatever it was. And then you finalize everything that Wednesday. And then the day of the party, you settle up the bill based on how many people came and yada, yada, yada. Well, we had to know by Wednesday and Lexi was not feeling well after getting the fluids. She still was lethargic, still did not go to school. So we were like, yeah, let's see what she feels like and ask her what she wants to do. 
And honestly, it was a no brainer for Lexi. She said, no, I don't feel good. I want to cancel. Like in that state, there was no way that she was going to be able to do her birthday party. So we canceled it. And honestly, she did not go to school Thursday. She almost didn't go to school Friday, but I was like, look, if you do not go to school, I'm going to have to see about getting you some more fluids. Like if you're really this down and out, or do you just need to try to like get back into the groove of things and just take it slow? I was like, you could sit out recess on the side and I'll tell your teacher that if you need to, you can sit out PE. I'm sure they would give you the option to sit out PE. And so that's what we did. She went to school Friday, very limited sat on a bench with her friends during recess and they gave her the option of sitting out during PE, but the game they were playing, Lexi just had to sit there and guard some cones. So the PE teacher was nice and was like, you can either sit out or I could have you be this one part where you just sit and guard the cones. So I guess she was just able to sit there. And so she came home from school Friday and she was exhausted. There was no way on Saturday that she was going to be running around an arcade and doing laser tag and doing all the things. So we did make the right decision. It just really was a bummer. Luckily, I had placed her cupcake order, but I was able to cancel it in enough time since we had to know so far in advance, plus I worked there. So I was able to cancel it before they had even started the order, thankfully. So we're not out those. I mean, I guess I could have frozen them because that's what Walmart does. They make them in advance. They just put everything in the freezer. But uh, yeah, we just hated to do it. Hated to do it. I mean, we had to cancel the year of the pandemic too. So it's not like she's not used to having her parties canceled over the years from when she was sick on treatment, but boy, it stinks. So we are trying to figure out where to regroup and where do we go from here? We are not shelling out more money for another venue like she wanted. I mean, I get it, but we had to cancel that. We need to move on from that. That was expensive. Because, I mean, if, you know, so we may just have to see if we can collect a group of her friends and go to the park or, I don't even know. At this point, just a group of her friends to get together and sing happy birthday to her or something. She would be happy with anything. I almost feel like we just need to wait for some nice weather on a weekend and see if we can get a group of her friends together to just go to the local park, play on the playground, and then uh, we'll just sing happy birthday to her under one of the pavilions. Like, not that I even feel would feel the need to rent the pavilion, just to, like, use it. I think that might be the easiest option. And then if they want to bring gifts they can or not, they don't have to. I don't know. We're still trying to figure out what we're going to do. So stay tuned for that, but hopefully my family has finally, finally gotten over this sickness and we are going to be looking up from here. Things can only go up from here. So hopefully you all had an awesome day on Monday viewing the solar eclipse and we will catch you in next week's video. As Lexi always says, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we upload another video. Bye!